One person's asset is another person's liability. And we're going to go over what is an asset, what is a liability. Find out right now. On this channel, we help you increase your financial IQ and buy back your freedom. See, an asset is not so much what the item is, because the item can be tangible, it can be digital, but it's how it is being used that determines if it's an asset or a liability. Let's say someone buys a truck from Ford. Well, it's an asset to Ford, but the person that bought it for personal use, it's not an asset. You see, the average new car loses 30 to 40% of its value in the first year that is made. Over the long haul, assets hold their value or they go up, which means they appreciate. My favorite type of asset is a cash flow asset. And what that means is that the asset puts money into your pocket. Another important characteristic of assets is that you own them. You can create them or you can buy them. I remember buying my first stock and getting paid a dividend. Sure, the payout was small, but guess what? It was mine and I owned it and I was getting paid. Liabilities, on the other hand, are obligations that you have to pay back. It's something that you owe. What determines if something is a liability really depends on how it's being used. Here's an example. A mortgage on a home is actually a liability for the homeowner, but to the bank, it's actually an asset because they're getting paid interest. And the longer you have that mortgage, the more interest, the more money the bank is going to earn. Another key important characteristic of liabilities is that they depreciate, which means they go down in value over time. So I mentioned earlier that I was going to explain the relationship between assets and liabilities because they're interconnected. And here's what I mean by that. In accounting, there are two sets of books. And one set of book, you have assets on one side and you have liabilities on the other side of your financial statement. But somebody else's financial statement, guess what? They have assets and they have liabilities. Well, one person's asset is actually someone else's liability. And someone's liability is actually someone else's asset. Let's say you go to the bank and you deposit $200 into your savings account. Well, at any point in time, if you want to go back and get your money, you can go back and get your money. And your asset, your cash, is a liability to the bank because at any given time, they have to pay it back. But here's what the bank does. The bank takes that money that you just deposited into your savings account and they lend it to other people. And when people pay that money back, they get paid interest. And so what the bank does is they turn that liability for them into an asset. So you find this content helpful. You want to make sure you tap that like button and spread this to other people. So what determines if something is an asset or a liability? Well, it depends on how it's being used. You see, assets go up in value and liabilities, they go down in value. So one appreciates and one depreciates. One puts money into your pocket assets and what takes money out of your pocket liabilities and they're both related to each other so you focus your energy on building and acquiring assets rather than liabilities with the liabilities that you do want you'll be able to pay for them without no problem if you like this type of content make sure you hit the subscribe and i will see you in the next video swift out